Welcome. I'm Dawn Buse, and I'm honored to be the chair of the 7th Annual Migraine Moment Short Film Contest, which was jointly sponsored by the American Migraine Foundation and the American Headache Society. And I'm here with this year's first place winner, who is also our Member's Choice winner, Eric Zaria. Eric, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. Your film, What is Migraine, was selected by the general membership of the American Headache Society for its education, advocacy, and ability to really enhance the message of people living with migraine. So, Eric, I want to hear from you. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I am a fourth-year neuroscience PhD student at the University of Iowa, um, and I study migraine in Professor Andrew Russo's lab. What inspired you to enter a film in the Migraine Moment Short Film Contest this year? It wasn't until I went to the American Headache Society meeting in Denver this year um, that I really knew that this was a possibility. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought that it would be a pretty cool idea to do something about migraine, uh, to kind of reach to migraine patients, but also um, to promote diversity. Can you tell us a little bit about your film? I wanted to do a little bit of a twist. So the storyline was essentially me and my colleague, Micah Johnson, studying for a test. And we don't understand what is going to be on the test, but it's about migraine. And I wanted to include a section where it's an animated film. And this said uh, main facts about migraine, such as what photophobia is, what CGRP is, and different medication types for migraine. I actually found that aspect of the artistic drawings that happen as you're watching the film really interesting. How did you do that part? Um, that was all with editing software. We also got pictures from different journals to illustrate where the monoclonal antibodies are acting and a lot of YouTube videos to kind of guide me through the process of how to do it given that I'm not really an editor. I'm really excited that you're taking what you know from your academic work and translating it into films. And I've also seen some of your social media that you really are doing a nice job of sharing science and kind of cutting edge information with people living with migraine in the whole world. I think that all scientists could benefit so much to the rest of the world by sharing what they know in ways that people can understand and learn from. So thanks for doing that. Honestly, I feel like COVID in general uh, opened up the possibility to start sharing messages through social media. And I just feel like a lot of scientists have really useful information. Um, and in general, just social media really gives that platform to share that um, and, you know, be beneficial to people. It's really exciting to see the next generation of scientists up and coming, to see your passion, your energy, and to know that you're joining the field and you're going to really be working to really improve the lives for everyone living with migraine. So I'm just glad you're doing what you're doing. Yeah, I, I feel really honored to be able to not just share the cool work that's going on in the lab, but to be here talking to you because, you know, it's not every day that, you know, a first generation college student from Miami that is just here being able to share this message. So thank you so much for, you know, giving me this platform too. And on behalf of all of the members of AHS, I think where I could say we all love that. And we're happy, happy, happy to have you joining our community. So as we wrap up, is there one message that you would really want to say to people living with migraine? There's a lot of labs, not just our lab, but a lot of labs throughout the world that are working really hard. A lot of physicians that are working really long hours with patients to try to help address these issues. So just don't lose hope because eventually somebody, maybe it might not be me, maybe it'll be a few generations from here on out, but somebody will do really good work that will benefit the patient long-term. So, Eric, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for contributing your lovely film, What is Migraine? And to everyone listening, thank you for taking the time to join us today. We hope that you'll watch Eric's film and the other winning films from the past few years. There's a lot of education, advocacy, and inspiration in those films that I think you'll really enjoy. Thank you everyone for being here today, and I wish you well. Thank you. Thank you.